Hi there, this video is an overview of some of the system components I've chosen for my quadcopter. So let's take a look at them. As you can see, I've got the FR Sky Tyrannus radio transmitter and its matching receiver. This receiver here has uh, an S port on it, and you'll notice that between it and the flight control module, which is a Wukong, there's just one lead you need. So you don't need to run multiple leads to do the same thing. So uh, this is the WUCOM, that's the main controller unit there. This is the uh, inertial manage management unit. This is the uh, power management unit. And here we have the, uh, the GPS antenna with uh, compass and the LED. One of the um, FR Sky attachments that uh, appealed to me was this um, module here. It's hooked it up to the LiPo cell like that. And we can see the overall voltage plus the individual cell voltages. So that can operate independently as we see there, or when you hook it up to your X8R receiver, it will send that information uh, back to the, uh, the, the radio transmitter here, and it's viewable on the transmitter's LCD. So that's really, really handy for keeping an eye on your, um, your LiPo cells. Now it's kind of curious as to uh, how accurate this device might be. It's reporting 12.46 volts. Like with any digital display, we really should ignore that last digit, or uh, at least consider it could be out by uh, plus or minus uh, one count. So uh, I'm going to interpret that as uh, 12.4 volts. Now I just happen to have a multimeter over here, so we'll, we'll do a basic comparison. Let's see what this says. Oh, it looks like a big multimeter. It's actually also a digital storage crow as well. So this is reporting 12.49 volts, whereas the telemetry module reported 12.46 volts. So let's power the system up. Now that boop, boop, you heard, I actually have the, uh, the Wukong via its USB port hooked up to the Wukong assistant program, which is PC software. It's really, really good gives you an overall view at, uh, of what this, the Wukong is doing. So rather than guessing what your radio transmitter might be, uh, how the radio transmitter might be affecting your flight controller, you can actually get some visual feedback. Welcome to Tyrannies. Throughout a warning. Now I should get into the habit of turning this on first. Fail safe off. GPS home lock on. And one thing you'll notice, the Tyrannus talks to you. It's, this is one of the really, really cool features. Rather than uh, trying to rely on your memory on all, what, on, uh, what all these switches do, you can actually set it up and it's... Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. There is a bit of a learning curve involved, but once you get your head around it, it's very easy to um, get it to announce what the switches are doing. So, for instance, this is my fail-safe switch here. Fail-safe on. It's just told me fail-safe has been switched on. Fail-safe off. This is a uh, mode switch. Altitude. It's now in uh, attitude mode. And this will be uh, in complete manual mode. Manual. If I take it all the way back. Altitude. GPS. Now it's in GPS mode. And uh, not only that, we're seeing this uh, visual confirmation on this screen here. Let's just have a look at another screen. So as I flick this switch, you'll see the modes change here. GPS. Altitude. Attitude mode. Manual. Manual mode. And if I enable the fail safe. Fail safe on. So. Altitude. GPS. Fail safe off. Another uh, switch I'm using. Point of interest. That enables the point of interest mode that the Wukong has. In the intelligent orientation control, we can see here point of interest. If I flip the switch this way. AOC off. I've turned it off, and if I go back to the other position. Point of interest. Home lock on. We're now in the home lock mode of operating. 90 dB. I've got this switch here configured so that it's going to report the, um, the signal strength of the receiver. Mighty, uh, minus 90 dB. 89 dB. Which is actually uh, also displayed here on your uh, telemetry pages. On the telemetry page, I'm also getting... 88 dB. That's going to uh, come out every 10 seconds. On the telemetry page here, I'm also getting it to report the battery volts of the Tyrannus radio here, the uh, A1 voltage, which is the working volts 
of the receiver here, which should be a nominal 5 volts. And also, you can see this uh, cell voltage here, 12.4 volts, which is being reported from the uh, FLVSS uh, voltage telemetry module. So, uh, all up very happy with it. The, uh, the, the Not exactly cheap, the Wukong, at $1,100. Um, but just the way it just, it just all works together, the software is fantastic. You can see exactly what you're doing, so that, that's a real major help when it comes to configuring your, your radio transmitter to suit. You can instant visual feedback on uh, what's going on. So very happy I've gone down this path.